What is up RC enthusiasts? Today we have this wholesome right here. It's supposed to be a 10 scale truck. To me, it's a little bit smaller than a regular 10 scale, but it is bigger than any of the other 16s and 14 scales that are out there. As you can see, they're advertising this metal geared brushless system, metal steering servo, and two batteries included in this box. So let's go ahead and see how this thing does. <laughs> All right guys, let's check this out right here. I found out something weird right here because I always bench test my rigs before I go take them out for a run, you know, put a battery in, make sure everything works. And when I was messing around with it on the bench, I noticed this. So as you gradually release, it breaks. So it gives you drag brake, kind of like a crawler, which you really don't want for a rig like this. For monster trucks and stuff like this, bashers, you kind of want it to freewheel. I mean, even when you let go. Ooh, see, sometimes it goes straight into that drag or straight into brake. There you go. It freewheels like that. So if you can let go of this trigger fast enough and without it going into brake, it'll freewheel. But any, any other throttle response... See, when you're just trying to decelerate a little bit, you're just trying to let go of the accelerator just a little bit at a time, it drag brakes as you're doing it. Watch the steps as I make steps into releasing the throttle. And that's definitely going to eliminate a lot of control you have of this rig when you're bashing around with it, when, you, when you're in the air trying to use the throttle control to manipulate its angle that's definitely going to ruin it for you because you have a drag brake in this thing and it's always going to try to topple it over. And like I said, that's also going to be a big cause of breakages. You know, these axles right here, these metal axles right here, they're only going to take so much of that instant stoppage from a go, you know? Even when you reverse with this thing, as soon as you let go of the throttle from reverse, it's straight into drag brake. I really do like this truck and I really wanted to like it a lot. I do like their older one, not the X07, but they have a older brushed version that has a different chassis where like the electronics are more enclosed and stuff and it still had the same A-arms as this and I'm not sure if you guys seen that model, it has the four shocks in the back instead of just the two, like this one has four all around, that one had six shocks total. That version was brushed and the ESC worked perfectly on that one, you know, just the way I expected this one to work is kind of what that one worked like. So now that I saw the brushless system in this and they told me it was an upgraded version or whatever, you know, I know they had the X07 and this is just a truck version of that, but I know they tried to work out some kinks and, you know, give you some metal here and there. But the metal in here, if you, if you do look in this video right here that I'm going to post, the metal inside the gearbox, inside the diffs, they're good metal, you know, it's not that pot metal stuff. It, they look like they're hardened steel, so it should handle some bashing, but like I said, with that drag brake feature, I don't know if that was intended, but if it was... They need to tell us how to program it out of this ESC, or this thing is definitely going to need an ESC upgrade. And for something like this, for a truck that's almost so good, you know, as it is, you get two batteries, you get two bodies, oil-filled shocks, uh, everything is very bendy, even the shock mounts and stuff, and I know that could be a negative to some people that are looking for performance, but if you look at this rig for what it is, it's a basher. Everything being so flexy like this is definitely going to save stuff. This is a good entry point to the hobby if it did not have this issue right here. So that's what I'm gonna point out with this one. If you're willing to buy something like this, which I found this online for $169.99 with $10 off, so it's $159.99. So four wheel drive, brushless, pretty decent tires, pops wheelies on demand. Uh, not bad for that price, but there are some stuff you'd have to change if you wanted this to be the way I think it should've came. So maybe a 1060 brushless ESC right here, the Hobbywing 10 BL60, put that on there. With your own receiver and transmitter, you know, most hobby people already have their own transmitters they like, so they just buy multiple receivers for that. And if you don't, maybe you might want to get into one, because if you're going to get into this hobby, you're going to want to use a transmitter other than the ready-to-run transmitter to make this thing work even better. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this the way it is just to show you guys how it runs the way it is. Let's see, change the ESC, put my own receiver on here to run my own transmitter. And let's see the performance this thing has for us. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the run of this stock. And then I'll show you the electronics I'm changing it to. And then we'll give it another run from there. Alright, so we see the performance right now, the drag brake hindering a little bit. You can tell it's fully proportional. You can turn a little bit. You can turn a lot. You can throttle a little bit. You can go a lot. a lot of power. I think this thing does about 30 miles an hour out the box. On two of us. There you go. Did you see that drag brake issue right there? It just cost me to end there. That wouldn't have happened if I didn't have drag brakes. Let's try to range test it. Pretty far right there already. Alright, so let's take this guy back in and let's modify it. I'd like to point out that it is labeled way out of whack right here. So the first one right here, you're gonna have your throttle dual rate. So you could lower the speed of this if you're gonna hand it to somebody with a little less experience, or you can put it all the way up for full speed. The center one right here is your steering rate. So it's just adjust the throw of your steering. Oh, I accidentally pressed the power button with the back of the controller. And this one here is gonna be your steering trim. And as you can see down here, they have steering reversing and throttle reversing also completely wrong this one is actually the throttle and this one's actually the steering and then we have your on and off switch which is proper on this one but if you do read the manual on this one right here the instruction manual actually labels these correctly so just in case you're confused check your instruction manual it'll tell you what these exactly are so that's about it for the transmitter very simple foam steering wheel four batteries double a's and you're ready to go well right here guys i'm going to be using a 10 bl60 hobby wing esc and here is my 007 hobby porter transmitter and receiver right here a trusty receiver that I use and this one right here is waterproof already out the box This has been submerged several times and this one right here also has a gyro in it So hopefully that will keep this truck a little bit more stable so we can up the hobby greatness of this truck So let's try this out right here typical YouTube fashion installing electronics the easy way here we go I think that works. Not for me at least. Well, let's install these electronics. Alright, so let's get these electronics out of here. We need to remove this ESC receiver combo. We're just going to unplug the front lights. Then we're going to unplug the servo from it. And then we're going to unplug the motor wires and the battery from it. There you go. Once you have all those unplugged, you have two screws down here. You see those two screws? Unscrew those and that will release the ESC receiver combo. You see, two screws, ESC receiver combo is out. Now that we have that combo out of here, we have a lot of room to work with this thing right here. So a lot of room to put the ESC and the receiver. So the ESC right here, you know, you can just double-sided tape it anywhere right here. Receiver, same thing, anywhere here. Maybe move the ESC closer to the motor, the receiver up front over here. And just double-side those in place like that. So you see you just get a little bit of wire like this, strip it. And just shove it in there like so and then you shove this right there and boom the fit is perfect and using wire like this is going to make sure the connections stay nice and connected right here and there's no you know gap or plastic used right here to make the connection less solid that's just my theory but yeah there you go all right now that we have this all installed it's always good to make sure to check everything's correct your controls are going the right way right is right left is left and forward is forward Reverse is reverse. And now, as you can tell on my rig, I have a gyro. So, 
that should correct it and help it steer a lot better kind of like traction control for it or stability control there you go now to button up all the electronics make it look all neat and let's go out for that run boom here we go fully installed everything double-sided taped down hopefully it'll stay and you know I could do a better job right here protecting these wires but they should be good for this run they're all pretty separate right there they shouldn't touch each other hopefully and I double-sided taped the power switch right here you tell everything is ready to go gyro and all I was actually not able to record that one. I was pressing record when I was not recording and you know the opposite. I was doing the opposite of what I was supposed to be doing so I was recording what I was not supposed to be recording and re you know what I mean. So yeah I have to redo it and unfortunately when I was home yesterday I decided I'm gonna run 3S on this guy and I did damage it. But it still runs and still works but there's a ticking now and I know what it is. It's the front diff missing two teeth. But yeah, here we are now with my custom electronics on it. No more of that crazy drag brake it's doing, and uh, this way, it's a lot better. Pretty sure if you listen to it carefully, you can hear that ticking going on. a beast you know and for the price I don't know what to say about it I mean I'm pretty disappointed that it's broken I did some 3s running with it I don't recommend this rig on 3s I was doing some jumping with it for sure and of course you know it breaks when I'm not filming just having fun with it expecting to do some filming right after and instead I broke it my brush to ESC is kind of weird right now probably its age showing its age for sure but it still works. Now I have a dryer. Right there. You can see it breaking itself. So yes guys, what do I think about this guy right here? Well, you know what? It's $169.99, four wheel drive. It was pretty promising. The electronics that came with stock, the two in one ESC receiver combo with that drag brake, not a go for me for sure. I would not recommend that. And the way it is right now, if it didn't have the broken front diff that it has, the diff gears are stripped out of that one. I'm not sure why I didn't record it when I disassembled it because that takes a while to get in there, but yeah, there's broken ones in there. I'm gonna contact Hosum, see what they do about that, see how long it takes to get a replacement if they do wanna send one for me or if they can recommend a place for me to get one so I can see if it's even worth getting this thing because we need to be able to get replacement parts for this thing, right? And waiting a month, it's really not that great. I would recommend something else for sure because of the drag brake issue that this thing has out the box and I don't think it's uh, intended to be there and if it was, it was a mistake for this kind of truck. That's more for like crawlers. My uh, axial rift came that way and that's a rock bouncer so you know they, they do want that to have drag brakes so you could stop on a hillside or something but i still disabled it on that truck yeah there you guys go there's this guy right here oil filled shocks you can tell right there it has a gyro in there right now correcting but yeah nothing else really broken just that front diff and that was on 3s so maybe don't run 3s on this guy well, all right, guys, that's it for this guy for today. And as always, stay safe out there, go have fun, and run that RC.